FNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this 11th day of uh, November, Monday. This is the 10 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. And the Dow is at 484 at 44,474. And said to subscribers, I wonder if we can get to the mid 44,000s, so the 44,000 uh, for, in fact, exactly where we are right now, because that would be very important. Now, the question for me is, is this an old peak a leg F? meaning got to be careful, or is it a brand new leg A? At this particular point, we don't have to make any decisions. We are along these positions, and I, I think everything looks like it's an A, actually. Uh, hard to believe. Look at that weekly chart, the big breakout. Look at that monthly chart, single leg A to the upside in a couple of, uh, in a week. Wow. All right, let's get to the S&P. The S&P right now is trading at... Uh, 6,000, 6,000, 6,007, up 12.20, having made a new all-time high. Same thing here. Is it an old E or a brand new A? I think we might be looking at the upside at this particular point going to be a little bit more resistant so that the major move has been done, and now we can do flurries to the upside. That's a possibility, but in the meantime, it's really positive. QQQ uh, trading, uh, let's see, it's down, I think. Yep, down $1.60, F5, 1.2.57. It's also been moving up. It's at all-time highs, but it's a little bit more, how can I put it? It's a little more, uh, there's more work to be done in terms of getting this to really break out from here. Why? Because the SMHs, the semiconductors are down seven and a half, and that hasn't made a new, the SMHs have not made all time highs. Let's go to the IWM. Oh, I, it's hard to believe it, but the IWM, the Russell, I've been talking about this for I don't know how long in my webinar coming up on Thursday, I'll be discussing this. Uh, iShares Russell 2000, the small caps, finally getting some recognition. Now, I am calling this a D. That's unusual because the others are all in A's. Um, I'm calling this a D, but it could recycle to the upside. And it's fantastic. 244.46 was the all-time high. Oh, wow. Let me go quickly. Uh, the bonds, uh, bonds are down a half a point. Gold, huh, talk about down. Gold is down $62. That's why we got out of our gold stock the other day. It just didn't look like it was going to hold. I'll be back with the Tiger Technicians Hour in a few moments' time. Check out my opening call newsletter. See you in a few. This is an exciting session. Oh, Bitcoin. <laughs>